So hello ladies and gentlemen, in today's video I'm going to show you how you sort the y-axis on Power BI. Believe it or not, you cannot do it on the format pane, so I'm going to show you a hack that will allow you to do it that looks proper. Okay, let's get started. Okay, so sorting the y-axis. Here's the thing, I showed you a while ago, and this applies for many things, not just for these type of charts, but I showed you a while ago a BAM chart or a rank chart. So a BAM chart is basically a chart where you rank categories. In this case, for example, it's ranking of sales by category name for the Northwind data set. So you can see that you have one, two, three, four, five. Rank charts, you always want to have the first one on the top, and you, there's no way to do that here. So the only way that you could do it, and I show you how to do that, it was to multiply these by minus one. And then as you can see, because it's always ordering ascending, then it will have minus eight, but you don't want to have minus eight. So what I did was I hide the, um, hit the, um, the labels, but that's not a good thing either. So one thing that you can do is nowadays, there is the possibility to have custom formatting with your um, measures and labels and, and fields and that type of stuff. So what you can do is you can go here to custom format. And as you can see, these are the positive values and these are the negative values. So if I remove the dollar because this, well, it, it's, it's a rank, it's not dollars. And then for the negative, I remove the negative stuff and I make it positive. When you go back, you can see that the negative disappeared. Obviously, this looks weird again because it's just not showing all the labels and things like that, but for a normal bar chart that you want to sort the other way around for whatever reason, this will work, okay? Quick and easy and very useful. Otherwise, I would actually do this in a chart later. It's a lot easier. I think I have already. I will post a link somewhere if you want to create a chart later. It allows you to do exactly that you want without that much hacking. So give chart later a go, guys. I will see you again next week. Until then, as always, take care. Bye-bye.